Yes, Samuel, we're in Ernest's house, and this is the first floor. And I'm going to show you a little bit of this area around the kitchen and the dining area. And then we're going to take you upstairs. So family jacks, how we living in Africa. This is one of our repatriates. Return to the land of the ancestors and living in and settling in beautiful Ghana. Oh, not a museum, son. Bomani Dakari in the flesh. And that is the Atlantic Ocean. So Erna has a nice view of the ocean. And it's just a short walk to the beach. All right, so family, let's catch up to Erna and show you the rest of this top floor. Okay. Uh -huh. you, can, you can get it here? It, uh, it I don't know, you'd have to really look for it. Okay. But I've seen some at someone else's house who was an African American. Yes, and yeah. his were plastic. Yeah. The, coat, yeah. the covering around it was plastic. Because that's why I want to I live close to that ocean. Wow. Yeah. You got the yeah. African Ocean. Yeah. Either way. What's that? Either way. Well, the African Ocean. Yeah, the African, they call it the no, African Ocean. That's Atlantic. That's Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. Atlantic. Yeah. 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 All day, yeah, I keep right. looking over there and I want to go. Because I know that that was the route. Yeah, but it, mm -hmm. how, how does that, how do you? Well, when I first came out here and I went over there to the ocean, I was really weird. Uh, I got over there, and you all know the song by the O.J. Ship Ahoy? Yes. Yeah. 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 I got over there to the ocean and I started uh, praying. Um, I'm not a religious person. But I got over there and I stood there and I looked out over the ocean and I started praying and thanking the Creator for bringing me back here yes, to this land. Yes. And I began to pray and as I was praying, seriously, words just flowed from my yes. mouth. I had no idea what those words that were flowing from my, my mouth. My mother said that I got over here and started speaking in tongues. Oh, right. yes, but yes. later what I, I came to the conclusion was, uh, it was giving me the opportunity to speak to my ancestors. Yes. And as I stood there, the song Ship Ahoy just blasted in my ear. Mm -hmm. And I cried and mm -hmm. cried and mm -hmm. cried and cried. You know, because, and I could, I, 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 through my tears, I opened my eyes and I literally saw ships out on yes. the ocean. Yes, wow. you could see them. You could see the ships you out on the ocean. And the OJ song, Ship Ahoy, Ship Ahoy, oh, Ship Ahoy, so Ship Ahoy. Oh, Ship Ahoy, yeah. It, it was just blasting in my ear the entire time. So it is a, a, serious, a serious spiritual awakening to be able to come back, you know, to the land in which our ancestors were taken from. Uh, nobody but us understand this. Yes, I think you're, yes. Nobody. Yes. You know, the, Even those the, who were left behind. Yeah, they were it. colonized and, you know, yeah. their experience was different. Yeah. But they have no sense of understanding. 
as to how this feel to us the hug. when we are brought back here, the hug. The hug. That's right. And that, no that word just took on a whole different meaning too. Because mm -hmm. yeah. you guys heard her talk about hug. Hug diasporas, mm -hmm. mean, meaning historical, unique group as a result of the transatlantic slave trade. But I feel like you're hugging us, <laughs> like physically hugging us uh -huh. right now, okay. saying I got you. Yes, well, it's a way, you know, and there are people who are really here and trying to make a way, such as Bomani bringing groups back here, and there are people who are talking about setting, getting land and setting, them up, setting up a, a way in which you can come back without struggling so hard. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said to you all, I'm, I myself, trying to get some land to do some uh, some affordable housing, mm -hmm. you know, because if you have a house in America, for instance, and you sell it for 100000 you shouldn't bring the 100000 and, and use it all in building you another house. Build a house. Yeah. You know, if you nice get an affordable get house, you can get an affordable house, then you can take the rest of fifty, sixty, forty thousand and use it to do some investment in it. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we really, 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 I cannot emphasize enough, that we need to do is we need to start working together. Because collectively, mm -hmm. there are just, there's no, nothing is impossible right. when we're working collectively. You know, and there are quite a few people who are talking about getting land and building and, you know, having places for our people to come, which is really good. We all can work together. Even Ghana has a 1.7 million housing to, uh, deficit itself. Oh okay, my. let's start walking towards here because y'all sweating. I'm sweating. Oh, I wanted to ask you, it looks like you, you've tapped into the municipality electricity. Is that correct? Well, when I when I bought the land, like I said, nothing was out here. I had to buy the poles to put up the okay. electricity. Okay. I also had to uh, buy the pipes to bring in the water. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And then uh, there were six of us later uh, who helped to, to buy the poles to bring the electricity in. But the government didn't just bring it in. We had to bring it in, and like I said, and we had to. I had to buy the pipes to bring the water from over across the road hmm. over here. What hmm. about solar system? Does uh, that would be wonderful? Well, you say would, it would be wonderful. Is it hard to get? Uh, it's very expensive here. Oh, it's expensive. It's a very expensive here. I had a guy to come and uh, sit down at my dining room table to talk with me about a solar. I wanted to get solar, mm -hmm. and he was sitting down at the table. And when he gave me the price, he told me it's going to be sixty thousand U.S. dollars. What? So I politely went over to where he was sitting and said, "Sir, please, can you stand up?" Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I and took him by the arm and I said, "I'm going to meet you to my door." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when I close the door, please don't ever come back to my house again. Because apparently you think I'm a stupid woman. Oh, that was him. Then uh, the price is lower. Yeah. Then he, he was be. listening to the accent. Oh, that's exactly what he was. So I told him, you know, I could, I've been to China. I could go to China, go over there and buy it, and come back and have it put up for less than sixty thousand yeah, dollars. Yes, yes. yes. So mm -hmm. you know, if you can, if you're going to move over here and you can put it into your container, can, yes. I bought three containers over here mm -hmm. uh, as I was building and everything. So if you can buy it and put it in the container and bring it over, mm -hmm. it will be much easier. There's a young man in Detroit who owns a. Um, a solar a solar company, so I'm trying to get him to look into getting Shipping the solar over. together for me and bring it over. Yeah. It would be much easier because we still have problems with electricity here. Yeah. I've had I, I got last week I got two meters in one week, two different meters, mm -hmm. because uh, the one that we, that I had just kept the bill would be high. I'd go and put in two hundred dollars one day and six days later, I mean two hundred CDs, not dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was all gone. Mm -hmm. And so then it's they. Yes, it's prepaid. Not all of them, but mine is prepaid. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, it, it's just the mess in terms of the electricity, but, you know, and that's why I say if we can pull together and do housing and everything, we can work to bring in solar, yes. you know. We can work to bring in sanitation and all of that, yes. yeah. you know. Uh, we can actually show, we can actually show our sisters and brothers how you can live without throwing trash and everything or everywhere. Curry they, kill. Yes, yeah. exactly. They get angry at me because I fuss with them. Don't be throwing that paper out there out, outside of my grounds. Don't throw it out there. I got garbage cans. And then I pay for the uh, garbage collection sanitation. Uh, there's a company, and I pay for them to come and pick up my garbage. It's about uh, 
it's about line. three. You yeah, Zoom line. Line. Yeah, I think it's about three hundred a, a month, mm -hmm. and they come and pick CDs. it up. Three hundred CDs. CDs. Right? Okay. Um, what about the street, uh, the dirt road? I mean, the, it's supposed to be I the paid, government. I paid to have it leveled. Mm -hmm. I got the big. A uh, tractor that comes and level it off. Mm -hmm. Nobody would help me to do it. I paid for it myself. Nobody helped me to put up the street lights. I put up the street lights myself. Three times I put up street lights, changed them to make it better and better. Those are the LEDs now. Mm -hmm. And nobody would help me do it. Wow. So this, so what I'm saying though, that the, the road is yes. supposed to be like the government, that, the, that's the one that should put that in. You would think they are the ones who are supposed to do it, but it has not been done. So 20 the, years. The, the, your neighbors have no interest in trying to well, come look, together. No one, here li no one that's out here, mm -hmm. no one that's out here lives here, right. except okay. for me. Yeah. Everybody else who are out here, they're all caretakers who are working for somebody else mm -hmm. who built the house. Oh, so the owners are overseas. Uh, no, some of them are, are around in Accra and just build houses. I went to a party last night over here. Come on, let's walk and start going towards them. And uh, so we're getting a few people in here, but in terms of uh, them, uh, you know, doing anything, if they're used to what, they, what they've been used to, they don't do too much. So here's another one of the bedrooms here. Uh, oh, perfect. I have five upstairs and uh, five bedrooms upstairs and two downstairs. And like I say, everything is made right here. <laughs> yes. So when you, make, when you build your house, you know, or when you decide to move over, if you don't, don't want to spend a whole lot of money with furniture, then you can just make it yourself and decorate it with some good plywood. You have to treat the plywood to make sure that it doesn't, the termites don't eat it up, and then you'll be fine. Uh, this is a master bedroom over here. I have a friend from Memphis, Tennessee who stays here. She's not here. This is her home. It's a master suite. So you have more than one master suite up here? I do. Uh, no, I have only one master oh, suite up here. Okay. And the bathroom over there is for those two bedrooms here, and the one here is for these two bedrooms. Here's a bedroom here. Mm. And, uh, Look at the drapes. Oh my gosh. Okay, puppy. Would you play They have no more for that breezes. Yes, but you know, uh, it, it depends on what kind you get. Like I said, I had one downstairs in the mm -hmm. sliding door, and it just rusted and fell off. Oh, wow. It just rusted and fell off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I want to see one. <laughs> oh, I'm not surprised. Repent. I don't want Don't get the thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised he's just like a dog. They always bark. <laughs> They're not social as the humans are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I have some, but not this many humans. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it was just like the dog. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm not surprised he's just like a dog. They always bark. Oh, they're like that. Oh, they're like that. Oh, they're like that. The family gonna give you a nice view. So, family looking at the African Ocean Atlantic. Mm. They got 